review for how the universe works. This is our micro disk one, episode two, Black Holes. Black holes are the most powerful destroyers in the universe and the most mysterious phenomena in the heavens. For years, they were only speculation. Now modern astronomy is proving them frighteningly real and shows that they are actually, actually shape everything we see. This episode was extremely interesting, interesting to me. It was very well done, uh, beginning to end. I wanted to rush through it so I could get this review out. Uh, they mentioned a hypernova, which is gravity on the inside of a, a supernova. The star actually collapses in on itself and forms this instant, infinite mass, throws the energy off uh, in opposite directions. That's called a gamma ray burst, and they think this is what forms a black hole. The uh, absolute density gravity of the middle of it is the pulling um, suction force, and they've actually determined now that there is a supermassive black hole at the center of our galaxy, and maybe at all galaxies. They mentioned uh, antimatter and quasars, which are I, I do you can't find much information about that and how they're linking a global virtual telescope to try to see what's at the edge of an event horizon and actually maybe the center of a black hole. Uh, I know there is, um, somebody uh, emailed me, I was wondering how they found um, dark matter and, um, uh, what's it, dark matter and, anyway, I, I don't remember the other one. I think it's black matter, they call it dark matter too. Um, and a researcher told me they actually s heard the sound of it. This got me interested in what happens to sound at the edge of a black hole and what happens to the sound when it actually goes in. At the center, the theory is that there's something called a singularity in the middle of the black hole, and nobody knows physics. Uh, the laws of physics don't apply, at least as we have them established today there. Nobody can determine exactly even mathematically what happens. And there is a researcher in Israel that is working on a way to uh, do an experiment to try to determine what happens to sound if it goes into a black hole. Um, I think sound and gravity has a lot to do with the matter that's formed. And they mentioned in here alternate universes and maybe, which this has been a theory I've thought about for a while now, that black holes actually form our universe. They don't actually go into this in the, uh, the video, but if there's matter and antimatter, if these particles flip, that there is an actual another universe opposite of ours, and the a black hole, when the uh, quasar, which quasars, which is the energy that shoots out from when one's formed, if it bonds these two particles, matter and antimatter together, and does the opposite in another galaxy, uh, that would mean the middle of the black hole is actually a formation, a gateway, a doorway to another galaxy, and the matter is not, um, is maintained, it's not converted or destroyed, uh, the matter and energy, the e whole equal, E equals MC squared, is um, flipped for the matter and antimatter. Those particles form, and that's what ultimately collapses the, uh, the black hole down, closes it, for lack of a better word, and spits out another galaxy, and then the process starts over again. Uh, the black holes are a um, are universe generators. They take particles from one universe and another, and when they combine uh, with the um, antimatter to form new particles that closes the door to another universe. And that's how our universe forms. It's like many Big Bangs over and over and over. And I think this will be, come to common knowledge, the math will work out as we learn more about uh, deep space phenomenon. And that then we'll have to come up with kind of, somebody's going to have to come up with kind of a new theory of the Big Bang because it's not one big bang, it's multiple big bang, big bangs, and uh, what started the first one, and that's probably going to delve into what created matter and antimatter, and that's
exactly where our universe came from. However, there is two particles or, or two um, substances that actually give something tangible that fills in the space. And they also actually theorize that we're, we could possibly be living in a black hole right now, and we are on an event horizon. That's, uh, that's, that's something I don't know a whole lot about, and um, I'm not even sure who came up with that theory, and if there's any math or experiments or observations to um, uh, give it some validity, so I'm, I'm not going to comment on that. But the show is really good. The, um, they show what would happen if uh, the, the Earth got sucked into a black hole and the planets smashing into each other. I haven't seen that anywhere before, and there's definitely the mention of the quasars, the supernova, the supermassive black hole, and uh, Lincoln, you have a virtual telescope. That's the first I've heard of those. If you look up, like I've done before several times, if you look at all the um, returns on the search for black holes or black hole on Google, uh, no, I don't know where you can find this information, but uh, I, I'm really excited. This is uh, all new, good stuff. The, um, the effects were a lot better, and it kind of builds on the same theory, but then they, they actually say, they don't go and say that black holes, like I just proposed, are the gateways to another galaxy, and they are uh, where matter and antimatter meet, and you have to form um, a big enough reaction in order for that reaction to stop and form back into uh, solid matter and energy as we know it that applies back to the law of physics that are um, that work for uh, the known events that go on in our galaxy today instead of the Big Bang because if, if nothing can escape and uh, if there's infinite gravity then that's the formation of the Big Bang. Anyway, I, I uh, look forward to what um, the replies and comments you get for this review and the new knowledge that will hopefully get the next generation of uh, physicists thinking about uh, these kind of mysteries and solving them and sharing their information. But this is definitely, I've seen a lot of videos and this is a subject that I'm, I'm really interested in and fairly passionate about, not the most passionate, but it, it's it's up there. Uh, and I would highly recommend if you are interested in uh, how the universe works and black holes, definitely you want to see this, this episode.